Well, there you have it. Raps took care of business at home against the 76ers, and that was their second last home game of the regular season. Could be a playoff preview, but tonight the Raps have their last home game of the regular season, and they're taking on Scotty's good friend Jalen Green, who, by the way, has been lighting the league on fire as of late. Let's get to it. Raps 76ers, Joel Embiid putting up a 30 and 10, guy's a monster. But Pascal, NBA, Siak MVP. Yeah, I just, I'm sorry, I had to go into a couple things. Anyway, Pascal Siakam put up 37 points, 11 rebounds, and 12 assists. It is the fourth 30-point triple-double in Raptors franchise history. And the Raps came away with the W. 119 to 114 the total, or the final. And if we take a look at the call review, I was 2 for 3, once again 2 for 3. Right about the spread, right about the money line, wrong about the total, and as a result, I'm now 113 and 99 with my picks. Oh, sorry, 115 and 100 with my picks. Apologies. As I mentioned in my intro, the Raps are taking on the Houston Rockets tonight, and it's the last home game of the regular season. Now, the Houston Rockets are not the sexiest team in the league. They're not the best team in the league, but Jalen Green and Kevin Porter Jr. are going off, at least in the last five games. So let's get to what the odds makers think. Odds makers have set the spread at 11 and the total at 228. I'll take the Raps to cover since they cover in 58% of their games. And that's the third highest mark in the association, by the way. They've also covered in their last two home games, and they covered against Houston back in February when they won 139 to 120. In terms of the total, I'm gonna go over since Toronto has gone over in half of their games, but Houston has gone over in 54% of theirs. The consensus seems to be split, but with Christian Wood, Eric Gordon, Dennis Schroeder sitting out for Houston, and you also got to factor in that OG's out and. You know, who knows if Fred's going to play tonight. I think they're probably going to sit him. Uh, but I'll go under 228 in all those cases. In terms of what the Raptors can do on defense, perimeter D. Over their last five games, the Rockets are connecting on 15 three-pointers per game. That's over their last five. In terms of what the Raptors can do on offense, points off turnovers. Now the Rockets are still turning the ball over at about 15 to 16 turnovers per game. That's a pretty high rate throughout the league. And that's over their last five. Toronto, on the other hand, at third best in points on turnovers with about 22 to 23 per game. Now that's it for me, but make sure you check out the game day previews or even post it on the website. On top of that, the wrap up will go live right after the game. The quick react will be posted, nothing positive will be posted. And then tomorrow, the recap will also be available. All that great content can be found on RaptorsRepublic.com. Before you go though, make sure you check out our YouTube channel. Subscribe down below to our Raptors Republic YouTube channel. We have great content coming out every day and every week by everybody from the team. Now, in terms of the lineup, we have one more left for the regular season, and that's going to be on Sunday when the Raps visit New York for a game that was postponed, actually. But that will be the next edition of the lineup and the last for the regular season. So, why don't we meet up again when that goes down? See you later. Peace.